today we're going to learn about simple algebra word problems. Let's say there is a person called Peter, and he has 50 V dollars with him. P for Peter has 50 V dollars. You might wonder, why do we have a V? Because in algebra, we have variables, and V is a variable. And let's say he's going to buy five books, which, which is seven and a half V dollars each. So he is bought five books, which is seven and a half V dollars each. Now we have to find out the amount of money left after he bought five books. We know Peter has 50 V and he bought five books for seven and a half V dollars each. So let's write that down. What is the amount of dollars which he has left after he bought five books? Now, the way to solve it is the amount of dollars, A for amount, the amount of dollars left is equal to the total amount of dollars minus the amount of dollars he spent. So let's write that down. So the amount of dollars left is equal to the total dollars minus the dollars spent. Now we know that the total amount of dollars he has is 50 V. So let's write that down. subtract that by the dollars spent. And we know that the dollars spent is seven and a half V dollars times five because he is bought five books. So let's write that down. Now we know that seven and a half V dollars times five is equal to thirty seven point five V dollars or thirty seven point 
37 and a half V dollars. So that means the amount of dollars left is equal to 50 V dollars minus 37 and a half V dollars. Now we know that 50 V dollars minus 37 and a half V dollars is equal to 12 and a half V dollars. So that means that the amount of dollars left is equal to 12 and a half V dollars. So we know that so we know that Peter has 50 V dollars and he bought five books for seven and a half V dollars each. So he has 12 and a half V dollars left. Today we learn about simple algebra word problem. Thank you for watching this video.